Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to the Shrine of Chaos. Today, we have a very special guest. Here with me, we have James, the owner, CEO, uh, manager, general manager of the Siege Studios Painting Commission uh, business. As you can see here, he is the largest. Uh, that's what I think, anyway. Actually, without knowing the exact numbers, I'm going to call him the largest because he has just shy of 50 painters on staff which is nuts it's absolutely insane and he is the ferrari of miniature painting studios uh fantastic folks uh, that you have working for you james uh welcome to the show what an intro uh well thank you very much uh, i'm extremely humbled uh and that's very very kind of you so a big thank you and uh yeah i, I, I don't really know what to say to that so thank you uh, <laughs> that's kind of so you okay so something i noticed uh that you've done extremely well is you've gotten your name out there. You've gotten your logo out there. So for, for those of you guys who are watching and who watch videos, tutorials, battle reports, you see Siege Studios logo everywhere. It is, you've managed to infiltrate. Uh, you have, you have the, you've mastered the rule of infiltration when it comes to uh, the, having your name out there. That's a very impressive uh, the the names uh, the companies you've managed to associate with and uh, get your uh, logo in front of uh, for battle reports and, and that so uh, congratulations first off because there are a lot of a lot of commission studios but not everyone gets to do that uh, no, you're yeah. you're the name you're the logo that sticks out uh, well thank you um, that's it's it's not been easy in any way shape or form um, and um, you know, uh, Siege is eight years old this year. Uh, Corn as, as likes it. Corn's approved. Yeah. So it, and and red is my favourite colour, so we're off to a good start. But, um, <laughs> but, but, but the reality is, is that um, yeah, it's it's not been easy. Like um, as, as I mentioned, like you know, eight years. And and it's quite on topic. Something we were discussing before we went live is just something that I, obviously you know that I said to you, Dave, which is you know that start was was hugely hugely uh, instigated by us working together very early on in the early days of Siege. Um, you know, when we worked on your um, on your mini war game chapter for you and, and mm. the 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 growth that we had as a company as a result of that and, I, and in any podcast interview that i do in any interview that i do i always say that when you put the video up for us like i woke up one saturday or sunday sunday morning with nearly 1500 emails because of your business and because of the advertising that you've done for us so that was the hugest start that we could ever ever hope for and again big thank you for that but um regarding I, I, the word infiltrating is is i always like to do things in a good way so <laughs> as long as it's a good infiltration then yeah that's fine um but um but no um yeah like uh i you know uh, i i come from a background of, of recruitment and marketing and business development so that's that's kind of where i came from i worked in recruitment for many many years and um you know and and before doing siege or you know working in recruitment i was in, in music and in bands and touring and mm. built bands and things like that obviously so I, I i've kind of always had that in 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 my blood so to speak and you know um you know, I, I tried to sell stones to my parents' back garden to my next door neighbour. So kind of selling was always in my blood from a very, very young age, you know. Um, but um, but awesome. yeah, like, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to work with the, the companies and channels and, and people that we do. Um, and again, massively humbled by by the kind words about the size of Siege and what Siege is. You know, it's it's I am humbled on a daily basis by this business. And it just really, you know, it is is an absolute pleasure to, 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 to do it every day. So, you know, so yeah. I, I got to say, first off, thank you for your your kind words back. Uh, and we we don't really. Uh, and I was telling you beforehand, like yeah, it's hearing something like that is it's uh, it's you, you render me speechless. You render us speechless because it's we, we really don't know the effect we have sometimes on on people, on businesses, and and so uh, I think it's uh, ultimately it's you, and it's uh, it's well deserved because it's. Uh, I mean, look, eight years later. Look what you've managed to do. And I think ultimately, aside from everything that you said, it's the work that speaks for itself. It's the quality of the workmanship that uh, that people, they keep on coming back for and they can see and they recognize. Because uh, I, I think uh, it, it was in addition to the Space Marine chapter, you've also done uh, Space Wolves for us. We've done quite a few projects uh, for you, various characters and inquisitors, inquisitors and, and you know, loads of things for yeah. you. So it's, like there was a lot. There's a lot you did do. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. And I should I should also mention continue to do because there's going to be a, uh, and you guys will see this soon. Uh, you'll see something <laughs> which I won't mention because it's actually a big no. deal, uh, but it might be of a chaos nature, and. Uh, <laughs> 
and it'll be fun. Uh, and so that that I look forward to. So uh, yeah, and it, like I said, it work speaks yeah. for itself because ultimately, like you, you could be the the most fair businessman on the planet. You could be a, a very nice guy, uh, but if the work if the work isn't there, if the quality isn't there, it doesn't matter, right? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that's really integral. Um, like uh, you know, I I don't paint for the business anymore. I took my hand off the tools quite some years ago, but it is a true testament to the team that that I'm very humbled to have here at Seeds that work with this business and you know and for the business and and um, and yeah, like you know, uh, it's it's a pleasure to work with every single one of them. So so yeah. And so on the note of uh, the painting, I'm gonna show some pics here, guys. Uh, some of the work done by you uh, in your your studio, because it's you and just shy of fifty painters, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, there's there's six people in the office, fifty just shy of fifty painters, and and then there's me. So that's, yeah, that's <laughs> nuts. That's just nuts. This blows <laughs> blows my mind. Like, come on, that's crazy. Uh, so here we have Mortarian. I started off with Mortarian because you know, uh, well, he it's just happened of... to come up first. You know, there's no action, <laughs> but super cool paint job here. A uh, unique paint job yeah. and nice and and I was telling you this before and I'll say it again, it's the crispness you have the style with uh, your paint jobs and I'm sure it's a, a common trait that you find amongst your artists that you work with, but it's mm -hmm. the it's the crispness of the paint jobs that make it pop, especially on camera. Yeah, yeah and, and I've noticed that seeing the stuff here in person that you've done for us as well. Uh, like look, look at the detail on his face. Like come on, like super cool. Uh, and this was, uh, I mean, this is a picture that you took on a, a just a clean desk, you know, it's kind clean of desk. We don't, white one thing, I, one thing that I very, very much um, uh, have always set in principle from day one is that um, no photos have any form of editing at all whatsoever. They're just well lit. It's really important. Like uh, we don't do any kind of editing because we want our clients to receive stuff that they see in photo and it's the same. It's the same in hand. Interesting. Yes, because I was going to ask you about that because I noticed that they were taken on a on a table that it wasn't like this like typical like dark background with like the the lighting and yeah. perhaps some terrain pieces. It's just the models. Well, yeah. Models. So, the, so the focus is on the model. Uh, it's it's really important. Um, like uh, you know, and and you'll be surprised to know that it's only been in the last year or so that we've actually been using a DSLR camera. So up until. Joe, who's my artist manager, joined the business about nearly two years ago. Um, I was actually using an iPhone 5 to take the photos. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, you can't do much editing on those. But, um, <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, like, you know, it's all about a very clean, clean paint job and, uh, and, and well lit original real photos is really important for me and, and the business. So, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I guess ultimately it's, and that's what I was saying, right? Like the models speak for themselves, the, the, the job, the paint job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, so what kind yeah. of a, a vetting process do you go through when uh, you're finding artists? So we have uh, like a, an entry, entry test uh, for painters that they have to produce an entry piece for the company. Uh, and obviously me being ex recruitment, um, you have to supply a CV. Uh, all our painters are in the UK so that we don't, Unfortunately, we get asked all the time, will you take painters on from other countries and things like that? And unfortunately, we, we just won't because of at the end of the day, everything comes into the office. Everything is either done in office or comes into the office. And at the same time, is is, is scrupulously quality controlled. Mm -hmm. um, really, really important, um, you know, uh, to, to, to maintain that level of consistency, which is really my, my job uh, most of the time, to be honest, um, you know, around other bits and bobs. But um, it's just maintaining the standards that we have in place in the industry um that, that i say it's all the time but like and i remain as professional as possible but the industry like commission painting is very much like the wild west there's no regulation there's no sort of governing body or anybody who maintains determines things and because it's art mm -hmm. it's very difficult for somebody to say oh well this is this or this is this um at the same time like it's something that i think some people may disagree with me on but i, I see commission painting and i see painting as a, as a trade so it's very much like electrical work or carpentry. It's a skilled trade of, of ability that's built up over many years, which is the same as the education and training that a, tr that a true trade that gives you a certificate with a stamp on it will have, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, it, inherently here at Siege, we have a set of standards that, that, we ad that we adhere to as a business for all projects, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Uh, and, it, and it shows. Again, it shows. Uh, and for those of you who are wondering who are on the stream watching right now, uh, Seed Studios, the James uh, has been kind enough to offer uh, a special paint job for 
a person who uh, will win. And what you do is, well, this is how you enter. It's going to be later on, not right now, but later on, we're going to give you a keyword to enter into the chat. And then we will yeah. randomly select one via mouse wheel cursor. It's very, <laughs> very antiquated, but uh, <clears throat> that, that's what's, that's what's going to happen. So Siege Studios is going to paint up a character for you. Uh, and whatever you discuss uh, afterwards, whatever uh, you, you want with them, uh, with, with James, and, uh, and it's that's what's going to happen. So uh, yeah. I'm I'm excited for that. I'm not even the one winning it. Uh, I, I think it's just a cool, cool thing. It's very kind of you to offer that. Uh, that's fine. It's okay. I'm more than happy to. Uh, and so, yeah, so stick around for that. That's going to be later. <laughs> uh, okay, so just in here, you know, for those of you who have just jumped on, because I saw couple more people just jump on here uh, so here take a look this is the this is the quality of the paint jobs first off but particularly on the characters that happens when you get a seed studio paint job that's what mm -hmm. happens uh so very awesome very cool and oh man i wish uh, i can give more details about what we are doing our our, our secret project which i won't i won't give away i'll say that later <laughs> um, uh, but and that that's very exciting too. Uh, but obviously, it's going to involve a, a, a it's going to involve a paint job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, okay, so let's go back to the the roots here for a second. Uh, so, yeah, sure. how did it all start? Did it start with just you? Was it just you when you started? So, uh, so I've always painted and done painting from as a young kid. Like my mum used to sit me in the garden with like long rolls of blank wallpaper from and just with the six paints. And I used to just paint in my back garden. Um, my granddad was in the Second World War. He was an anti-aircraft gunner in in London, and he used to be massively into planes and stuff. So he got me from a very young age into like airfix and model plane kits and things like that. Um, one day I was being looked after by my grandparents one weekend and they took me to a charity shop. I found a bag of plastic space Marines in the charity shop and I was kind of like hooked and, and everything else went out the window at that point. Uh, so, so um, I got into Warhammer. I'd done the whole thing of going to, going to sort of a uh, uh, games workshop on the weekend to my friends and I'd, I'd painted models, you know, for, for myself. I got asked by friends to paint the odd couple of bits and that's kind of where the roots of like commission painting kind of started. And I was doing it, free and for a little bit of money back in the day um i went to sixth form um and then i had a, a group of friends at sixth form that i played 40k with and stuff and obviously i painted models for them and and, and asked i got like 20 pound 30 pound here and there here and there whatever it's just like a little bit of extra money for me had a big gap um and uh was in music and bands and stuff and then uh after all that kind of went through the floor came back to where i lived uh, found my old models in the, the loft of my parents house and then just started putting up doing like videos of my painting and putting on youtube um a couple of guys that were running a kind of like commission business approached me and said look would you like to freelance for us or work for, with us painting models i was working in recruitment at the same time when i came back for, to, to live my parents um and I'd always worked in recruitment while I was in bands and stuff like that, going on tour and all this kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I started painting for them. And I just work in a day job that's super regulated, super professional. And you, you, you can't put a foot out of place and your clients are treated in a certain way. And you're trained and told and teach to, 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 to be with clients and, and people you work with in a certain way. Um, I found it very hard to work in an environment where it was extremely unprofessional and things weren't run in that way. So I just me being me just thought right i can do this better and i'm going to set something up that i want to be as professional as physically possible and how as a client i would like to be treated and the quality of service that i would expect if i was a, a top end of service if that makes sense mm -hmm. um, and see just started there i set up the email address i started doing some bits and bobs for people um and then uh and then basically uh I saw Matt put his video up about the about the painter partner program. Got in touch, and, and obviously everything happened with that. All the fifteen hundred emails, and then Siege just exploded and went went from there pretty much. And you know, and uh, and the rest, shall we say, is history. It's just been, you know, I'm thirty four. I'm not married. I don't have kids. You know, I used to work a sixty hour recruitment job while I was doing Siege at the same time around that job for for nearly two to three years. Um, and then I, I got mucked around by that recruitment company. They pulled a massive bonus from under my feet. I lost my mortgage. And I literally, on a Friday, when that happened, and I found out I lost my mortgage, I basically just said, look, here's my notice. I've got 30 days holiday. And I just done siege full time. And I just worked worked every hour I could physically work. And uh, and that was it. So, yeah, it's kind of, that's, that's the brief story and synopsis. So, yeah. 
it's a uh, awesome it's it's like success born of trial it's not in easy <laughs> yeah it's not been easy no no it, it like, doesn't um, sound easy <laughs> yeah it's not it's not been easy so yeah um but yeah i, I yeah as i said like i'm i'm massively humbled like you know um, i'm not one thing that I'd always want to say is that from working in recruitment, I think a lot of the guys at Siege know this, like working in recruitment, like I used to see bosses like running businesses that didn't appreciate their staff, that considered them cogs in machines. And like the truth be told, as I always say this, like 50% of this company is is the team, is the painting team. It's, you know, I, for all the will in the world, like, you know, I, if, it, if I didn't have the painting team that I have and, and you know, it would be me in the tiny little dingy flat above a chemist where I started this business with paintbrushes between all my fingers and toes and in my mouth and ears to try and paint all the models. So, you know, like um, without the team and and 50% and obviously everything, all the team here in the office, what we do on the office side and the business side of stuff, if that makes sense, it, it you know, it wouldn't be what it is. You know, it's not, it's not just, I never want to be the person that's like, oh, do you know who I am? Or like, it's, this is my, bit. I'm not that guy. Like, I still in meetings when it, we talk about stuff about what things for the painting team, the, the owner hat, because I never call myself the boss and all the guys know not to call me the boss because I hate that word. <laughs> but like, but the boss hat or the owner hat comes off and it's, it's literally, uh, it's literally like, I'm a painter. I started this business as a painter and we have to look at it from the painter's perspective before we make any decisions. And that's, that's always how it is. So, so yeah. Um, you know, so that's a bit about the culture of the business as well. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I think that's very important. That again shows, it shows because of uh, the, you're able to, uh, you can man this, this machine you've built again, it's again, hard. and it's not. I mean, I imagine it's unwieldy at times just because of the sheer number of people. But I'm sure you have systems in place that make it manageable. And uh, yeah, I, I'm very fortunate to have uh, like Joe, Louise, Abby, Ad, you know, uh, and Tom here at the office, and and, and you know, and other half three, you know. So I, I'm very, I'm very fortunate to have the people you know in the office helping me because Joe's first words when he came to his interview nearly a year and a half or two years ago was like, "Where's everybody else?" I was like, "Well, it's just me." And he was like, well, "Sorry, what?" <laughs> it's like, it's like, "Where's everyone else?" I was like, "No, it's just me." He was like, "Okay, um, right, we've got a lot of work to do." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's um, it's been. I wouldn't change the journey and, 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 and the path that it's been to get to this super humble place where we are now. Um, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm absolutely ravenous to grow this even bigger. So like, I'm not, I'm not complacent in the slightest. Like I want, there is things that I want to do as a company and as a brand more importantly, um, that far surpass what we're doing currently. Um, you know, I've, I've huge expectations for what I want to do with the company. So, so yeah. Awesome. Uh, so okay, so a couple of questions and uh, perhaps some anecdotal things. Uh, what what what's the volume? I'm curious to know how many. If you could ballpark it, or maybe you know the exact number, but how many models pass through Siege Studios uh, in a month? Let's say, like uh, uh, it's, it's 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 a lot. Like, and I mean, it's like um like this year has you know. Siege as a company has doubled in size every year, you know, again, I'm, I'm not, I'm blown away by that, you know, but like um, this year with the pandemic and everybody being at home and rediscovering their models and get, it's been crazy. So, you know, I, I, I being frank, like I can't even put a number to it because it, 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 every month surpasses every previous month with this year, the way things have been, yeah. um, you know, but it's, it's a lot of models. Like we, we never rush anything. Uh, it's all about the quality, not the time scale, but we try and deliver it promptly the best quality we can so so yeah um you know it's, it's, it's a lot of models on a monthly basis is there you know. is there any uh do you have any favorite projects like if you're to you know here's 10 10 space marines versus uh i don't know here's a gorkana like do you do you have a favored type of commission that you you wish everything was this type of commission I, I can't. I, I, I couldn't ever wish that everything is this type of commission because, being being quite honest, I, I I'm very lucky to see so many amazing projects on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Um, there's there are so many projects that I just I, I don't want to say this to clients, but I don't want to give back because <laughs> I love because I love because because I, I love them so much. Um, and and the, the guys who have painted them, I mean, thoroughly enjoyed like doing them, you know. Um, but um, as anyone who knows me well enough knows, I'm like the biggest Blood Angel fan ever. So the red ones with with blood drops all over them are always the ones that I struggle to give back. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Mephiston model that we've done recently. Rich, one of the painters, done it. And um, and I'm just like, yeah, I, I, he's made him look so evil, like in a very sort of like uh, vampiric, ghostly kind of look. And uh, 
and I just I just don't want to give it back. <laughs> 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 you know, so it's uh, so awesome. yeah, um, yeah. Is there a? Do you ever play? Do you ever play games with the armies before you ship them out? No, no, I, I can 100% assure you they are extremely well looked after. It's like the best hotel ever for miniatures. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you, get, you get pampered, they get pampered, honestly, like, you know. Um, but but no, uh, we, we don't. Like, we've got studio armies and stuff, Like we've got stuff uh, that we uh, that we use for like gaming. Like we've recently expanded in the building we're in, so hopefully we'll have like a bit of a gaming area for, for, for lunches and breaks and stuff like that in the future. Um, and at, at that point, we'll probably up the complement of, of library of models for, for game at lunchtime. So, yeah, but probably that will happen. But um, but no, we, we client models are they are as much as they are models and they are armies and they, they are they are products for our clients. And we we treat them with the respect that a product deserves when it's going to a client, if that makes sense. Yes. So, so, yeah, yeah, no, so, yeah. it does make sense. Uh, yeah. Like I, if I was in your shoes, it would be so hard to give up that chaos. <laughs> oh, like the Mortarian would be like, oh, I want to play with them. You know, like it, it would be, that'd be super tough. Uh, so yeah. I, I, I get that. And you know what that actually, again, it, it's, it's a testament to the the quality of uh, the paint jobs that you guys do. And if you want it for yourself, I think, you know, you've uh, succeeded as a, as an artist. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm, I'm super lucky. And like, like whenever, like Joe, like Joe, whenever a dark angel, we've recently painted Lionel Johnson for one of our clients. And like, um, Joe, Joe's obviously a massive dark angel fan. I don't know why, but, uh, but he's a massive dark angel fan. And like, and, uh, and, um, and this, like, uh, this, this, uh, Lionel Johnson, like we, he, he obviously loves it. Do you know what I mean? So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah, there's so many projects that we just love, and we've had some crazy ones. But you know, obviously, of the Bacon Marines, I'm sure you you remember those ones. Those like that Space Marine chapter we painted that all we got was Bacon as reference, which was just crazy. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and and there's, there's been so many that have just been hilarious, and also you know, at a point where we're just like we just genuinely love the project we completed. So yeah, um, like uh, Amy, one of my painters, she's done a Sisters of Battle Army recently. That's just you know this phenomenal purple scheme that's just beautiful and um and again it's one of those that i, I love it i just don't I, i've got to give it back but i just don't want to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah like um yeah so uh, uh going in the opposite direction do you have a do you have like a horror story uh something that like went wrong at one time <laughs> no i th- i would like to say that with the specs and things that we do the way we do our, our sort of like system of, of of making sure we do what the client wants We've touch wood. We've never had an incident where, like, where something has gone drastically wrong. Like, there was there was a point where, like, um, uh, there was an Oberon model, which was funny, like a, a Necron character. I'm sure you know who that is. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, it was a running joke. Like, he he would move in the office, and but no one would remember moving in it. It was as if he was like teleporting around the building because that's that's kind of what he doesn't get. But he would literally be on a table ready for photography. And it'd get moved because we're moving bits and around and then he'd be somewhere else. And then we would forget that he'd moved up. So he'd, he'd done the rounds in the office because he just went from room to room in different places. So that was that was pretty funny. But um, we've never had anything go like drastically wrong, so to speak. Like we have people change their mind, I think, sometimes for a project, which can happen, you know, or uh, the rules will get changed. And then someone will want 10 of these models because they're way more competitive and they, or they want them armed a different way. Um, we try to avert any potential problems as, as best as possible. But, you know, within the realms of reality, I can't sit here and, and say to you 100%, we nail things every time, you know, there's, that we're human at the end of the day, you know, but but we put in as many safety measures to stop things from happening. So, you know, so. That's, well, yeah, that's that's good. Uh, <laughs> I like the story of the Oberon moving around. It was, like, it was like he actually had come alive. Do you remember the, the, the what was the film where they, they used to put models in the cabinet, close the cabinet, and they'd come alive? I can't remember what it was. Indian in the cupboard. So that's the one, yeah. It was, it was like that, but he, 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 had, he had the best, like, he just moved around the office. <laughs> and we don't know that. As he got over there, like, it was just, it was, yeah, and it was just funny. But yeah. Is there, a, is there a certain commission that you kind of dream of doing but haven't done yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is um so like uh we've painted so many different marine chapters like so many and um it pains me to say that we've never painted like loads and loads of blood angels which is obviously the thing for me that's frustrating because like they're not my favorite chapter so we get the odd character or the odd thing but we've never had like a full 
huge uh, we have small phases and a lot of our clients will book in smaller phases but like what i mean is like collectively they make a big army but in one go we've never had like sang like a 30k army like with sanguineous round you know round on all the different ca characters from the from the from, from, uh, 30k or we've never had like the full complement of like blood angel characters in an army like which is you know it's, so for me the ideal thing would be to do do blood angels the absolute justice that i want to do for them you know in producing a mega army you know um we we you know joe jokes because we've had loads of dark angel ones come in loads of ultramarines loads of imperial fist space wolves you name it but for some reason it's just <laughs> it's been the one that escaped the net every time so so yeah okay that actually just gave me an idea um because i'm also a blood angel player and there's uh, uh i i love the sp blood angels that i have uh, Vito, he's done the majority of them uh, the new ones anyway uh he's a fantastic painter but there's a couple models that i don't have new models yeah uh, uh so first and foremost do you guys do conversions yes we do okay all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna place a commission with you right now if that's cool okay i wasn't ready for that but okay <laughs> uh, okay all right so doing it right now live on air uh okay i'd like a gabriel seth yeah uh because right now the current model is it's outdated, right? Yeah. Uh, so I need I need him to be like, first off, the appropriate scale. He's got to be like yeah. elongated and uh, bigger, like at least yeah. primary size, if not if not bigger. On a yeah. On a He's quite a big guy in real life. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Right. With uh, you know, a, a cool pose. Uh, your paint job that you offer, which is fantastic. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, we'll do, I'll tell you what, this is perfect timing because um, we're actually launching a new part of the Siege brand and service, which is called Custom Service, and it's being released in a couple of weeks. And we've actually been, no one's seen them yet, and it's what I've been painting. I haven't been able to release it. Joe, Joe's banned me from putting any photos online of what I've been painting or the work in progress photos um, <laughs> because, I, because I get so excited. I just, I, I, I want to show people, but it's like he's holding me back from doing it. So but long story short, we're actually releasing a service where we completely uh, create one off unique custom characters and the service is called custom service. And that's 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 launching in a couple of weeks. Um, so I will gladly do Gabriel Seth as a custom service miniature for you. Uh, Perfect. And and we'll, we'll get we'll after this, we'll sort it all out and get it done. OK, uh, I'm going to throw another one at you. Yeah, do it. Sanguinor. I need a new Sanguinor. Mine is so I old. He's metal. I need a new Sanguinor, and his base is tiny. I need, like, how he should look with his okay. angels, or with his angels, with his wings and his sword and his, like, yeah. you know how, like, the old model is, like, the, the, he's got, like, the, you know, 1992 pose. Like, he's got to yeah. he's gotta be uh, modernized, man. He's got to be the yeah. appropriate size. So Let's do it. If I, yeah, if I can get those two, I'd be extremely happy. Like, uh, that is confirmed done deal let's let's do it i'm 100 percent up for that like uh, there's no way we're not doing it so, so yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. all right okay so uh for those of you who are watching right now type in the chat what uh what should be done what would you want to do if uh you were putting in a commission in siege studios right now what would be your dream character just type it in it'd uh, be really interesting to me. yeah just, just as a, a mental thought exercise, what, what would you want to a customize, like a converted awesomeness? Doesn't even have to be something that needs to be updated. It could just be something uh, current. What would you want? Uh, so, on that note, let's uh, ch uh, change gears a little bit. Let's do a chaos comment bomb, James, if you're cool. Uh, yeah. And then we'll do the giveaway. That's perfect. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So, chaos comment bomb. This one is recommended by James, guys. So uh, this is of a. Uh, so, so do you want me to tell you a little bit about them? Or, yeah, or, please, yeah, please so, do. Um, th th this this YouTube channel is a YouTube channel called uh, Chill Team. They uh, they produce uh, battle reports, but like they are on a podcast format. So it's it's Kill Team podcast, hence why the channel is called Chill Team. Um, and what they do is they essentially record. Uh, Kill Team podcast battle reports that you listen to them rather than actually physically see anything. So it's quite good to like immerse yourself into it by listening to it. Because obviously of the pandemic and lockdown, they've struggled to to sort of get together to record games and stuff. So they've, they've been doing via Zoom a uh, Dark Heresy campaign. Um, and it has been absolutely hilarious, like hilarious from the start. And like they've put up their third episode recently. And uh, James, one of the guys on there, he uh, he's his Sister of Battle is the character and he's been basically forced to wear this blonde wig 
on the uh, as a sister of battle in the video it's like it's really funny and but they really deserve it. they're really hilarious and um and i recommend you guys check them out and uh, and do all the all the things that you should do when you check out a channel so so yeah so i'm gonna post the link here in the chat uh just so you're uh, you can see the link it's unmistakable uh what it is so if you haven't participated in a chaos comment bomb before uh this is how it works you click on the link you leave a comment on the video and the comment could be something like Dave and James say hi from the Shrine of Chaos. You could say something like, we like the wig, wear more yeah. of it. Uh, yeah. it. As long as they know they've been Chaos comment bombed by the Shrine of Chaos, uh, that's really all that matters. Yeah. And this particular channel, uh, Super Humble, is currently 649 subscribers on their channel. And uh, currently seven comments on this particular video, which I like doing. I like doing the lesser known channels because whenever yeah. there's a Chaos comment bomb, it's just, it feels like there's more of a, it, typically notifications are still set up on, on their phones, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like the phone will go nuts. And then it, yeah. it's just like, yeah, it, it's just a cool thing. I don't typically know the aftermath reaction. And so I can only just imagine what it would be. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, they're really good. They're really deserving. And like, you know, they do some really good content. And, uh, you know, I listen to it typically when I'm painting or like stuff. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's they're, they're, they're really, really good. So so that's uh that's that uh, you know okay you know what the eye of tear sees all okay so that's my comment <laughs> uh, all right and then one more refresh i like to refresh just to see because there but there was seven what are we at now we're 37 okay so 30 comment yeah okay very cool so if you guys haven't done it this is your last chance before we go on to the giveaway and i like to do this first before the giveaway here's the link one more time yeah. the chaos comment bomb <laughs> uh it's more make sure it's, yeah. it's like make a pay sure forward can. before we yeah. do the, the thing so I, I like to do it that way uh, okay so uh, a lot of people left comments on what they would want painted up as their characters yeah and so uh, now it's time to do the uh, the giveaway uh, which is a painted character whatever you guys yeah. discuss afterwards whatever you choose yeah, to yeah do. sure and uh, and so first off question is there any limit to the location of the person no we'll send it international it's not a problem like you know it's, it's not an issue in the site it's more than happy to do to that for the person so that's fine so if they live in Antar antarctica all good as long as as long as our postal courier service <laughs> sends it there that, you know i can't i can't personally get on a plane but i will if i could so <laughs> no, okay. i can't it's not down so yeah <laughs> all right so australians canadians americans yeah. whatever okay all good worldwide okay so it doesn't matter where you are you leave a comment and uh, James, if you would do the honors of picking the key word uh, that people should leave, uh, and it could even be like hashtag Siege Studios. It could be that. You could just put in Siege Studios. That let's could be. That. Let's, let's, let's just do. Let's just do Siege Studios. Okay. It makes it easy. Really. Makes it easy. Okay. And make sure it's S I E G E. Yeah. <laughs> Not Siege. <Siggy>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, C Studios, two words. Uh, type that in, and that'll indicate to us that should the mouse wheel cursor land on you, that you want a painted model by exactly. C Studios. Yeah, it's really just a visual uh, indication. It's an indicator. Yeah. Uh, and I love it. Whenever this happens, whenever the comments come in, I hear my computer working harder. It's always like <laughs> revving up. It's got to catch up to all the comments there. So right now we have uh, viewers from YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook all at the same time. So Amazing. It doesn't matter where you are, uh, what platform you're on, we're going to choose one person, so it will be randomized. Um, yeah, that's perfect. I'll let you choose, though, because I, I can't see the comments, obviously. Just, just you choose. I'll okay. give, you the, the, give you the honor of choosing the person, and all they need to do is, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an email address, and they can just email in, and or we can contact them directly, or however we want to do it, so we can get them in touch, basically. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, should they... Let's see. Is there an email that they could email you at? Uh, you know yeah, what? I mean, okay, I guess it depends. It depends on where it's chosen from, right? So it's if it's like yeah, Twitch, then we'll do a whisper. If, you, if it's Facebook, we'll send yeah, a message. Whatever you can do, it's just so you can message them directly. That'd be great. Um, okay. So what I'll do is I'll choose the winner and I'll I'll forward you their info and then you guys can take it from there. Yeah, that's perfect. That's amazing. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. So you can hear it. Do you hear that? I do, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you guys? That means you guys must hear the mouse wheel too. 
All right, so three, two, one, boom. Da Fang underscore more quest says, wah, you don't say C Studios, that's your comment? What? Hold on, I gotta go back. You gotta go back. I gotta go back and see if you actually put Siege Studios. I'm sure you did. <laughs> what? Why? Why did you have to put something different? Now I don't know if you actually left a proper comment. Uh. Okay, here. Do it. Do it again. If not. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, I see. I sent Siege Studios as well. Okay, so I just happened to land on another comment you left. All right, so Dakafang, Dakafang, more quests is the winner. So congratulations. Congratulations. So that is on Twitch. That's a winner from Twitch. So what I'm going to do is I'll send you a whisper here, Dakafang. If I give you an, if I give you an email uh, address, then you can just get them to email into that one. Okay, sounds good. Uh, That'd be probably I'm doing it. Okay, so I sent you a whisper, Dak of Fame request, uh, and then you can uh, send me your email. I'll forward it to James, and you guys take it from there. Amazing, that's perfect. That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Dave. Yeah, uh, and thank you know thank you again for being a guest on the show. Uh, no, it's, it's really really appreciated. Thank you for having me on. It means a lot. So it's nice to to catch up after well all these years, and uh, and and also at the same time during this this horrible year that we're going through. So uh, so yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I must say, uh, businesses like yours, they they help to, and I truly believe this, that they, they help to provide that much needed escapism that uh, that needs to exist. And so you just, you fill that need uh, and you, you've done it so, so well. And uh, congrats on all your success and for your, you your plans in the future. I wish you all the best. And I'll uh, I'll talk with you a couple minutes afterwards so we can go over details yeah, of sure a couple characters because I'm, I'm excited about those. I I wasn't planning on doing that, by the way. That was completely no, like honestly, spare the moment. I, 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 that's fine. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, James, but I want commissions from you. Uh, it's fine. It's <laughs> Don't worry. It's it, fine. So, oh, by the way, so for those of you who are watching this as well, uh, whether it's Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube, I provided a link to Siege Studios in the post. So if you want to check out their website, uh, check out James's website and uh, the, the process of going through the commissions or browsing through uh, stuff they've done in it the can, past. Yeah. It's all very easy to use the website and uh, the contact form on the on the contact page is super simple to fill out. And we've, all we've got is like a model list format that we need it done in for, for the systems here in office. Mm. Um, it's really simple and uh, we get back to you as soon as possible. So, so yeah. Perfect. Okay, thanks again, guys. Stay tuned next week uh, for the Shrine of Chaos, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And thanks again, James. Thank you very much for having me, Dave. Thanks for the viewers. And happy Wargaming.